first time I've done this, so uh, we'll see what happens. I'll, I'll be very careful, but I want to remove this battery enclosure and remove the batteries so that there's no batteries in the M103 and I can run it off an external battery using my VAMP cable. And then uh, if, as long as those external batteries are TSA approved, I should be able to take this on the airplane. Uh, it depends on which airline you travel on though. Uh, because this M103 will have no batteries in it as long as they're okay with it being a wheel and I uh, use approved airline TSA approved batteries that are 160 watt hours or less uh, some airlines say they have to be 100 watt hours but uh, according to the TSA rules uh, two 160 watt hour batteries are allowed and any number of 100 watt hour batteries are allowed uh, this in here is 512 watt hours in this M103, the 84 volt version. So that's too big to allow on the airplane. Okay, so I got to be careful. So there's some Phillips screws here on the plastic enclosure. I'm removing those. Tiny Phillips screws, and uh, they're a little shorter than the ones for the case, so I don't want to get those mixed up. see so the peak there you can see the uh, m10 384 volts the fan on the top of the controller board and the controller board sits on top of this battery enclosure so hopefully I don't have to remove the controller to remove the battery because I just want to leave the controller in place so you can see these screws are a little bit smaller than the case screws so there's two removed uh, there's a third one on the top here Phillips screw. I don't want to lose it. There's a fourth one down here on the right side. Tab. Okay, that's number four. There's a fifth one here on another tab. one here on the tab here over on the left side. Number six on the top here. There's one here on the top left. That's number seven. Sometimes it's helpful to have tweezers for this. Or good fingers, or a magnetic screwdriver. Okay, got it. And what are we at? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. There might be more that I can't see. Oh, and actually, if you look, yeah, I probably have to take the controller out. Jeez, it's not that easy. The controller screwed into the top of this. So maybe, I don't know, let's, I wonder if this whole assembly comes out. I gotta be careful now that I remove screws. Oh, the whole assembly comes out, look at that. Whole assembly comes out. Okay, so let's have a look at it. Be a little careful, there's a wire here. A wire that goes to the kill button. Be careful, I don't wanna break that. Oh, look, it just fits in there. With uh, four, I don't know if you can see that, four tabs there, and on this side, you can see that there's four tabs, four plastic posts that fit these four tabs, that foam. Okay, so, I got the whole thing out. That's cool, you just gotta be careful. So, really, I don't know if this is sealed, look, there's, it's hot glued here, sealed. Okay, they hot glue sealed it, so it's sort of waterproof. So I gotta break that silicone, I think it's silicone actually, seal to uh, get the battery cells out. Uh, may not be as easy as I thought. Oh, okay. 
So I probably I do have to remove the controller. So let, let's be careful about any connectors. Okay, here's a connector here for the uh, uh, charging port, uh, the USB port. Uh, I'm going to remove that. I'm going to just disconnect that so I don't break it. Okay, so it's a two-pin two connector. Okay, so you, you lift up this tab here, pull on the sides. Okay, so see that two-pin connector? So that's removed. Uh, let's see what else. The other, the charging, or the light. And let's see what else. These uh, oh, then and the cables that go to the uh, to the pedals for balance. Uh, those uh, there's no disconnect. So I think I will have to take off the uh, rem remove the controller board. This, of course, all this stuff works for you, right? So do so at your own risk. And make sure you know what you're doing. Be careful about positive and negative. You want to short anything. These are all sealed here with some white compound, too, so that you're not getting any warranty service after this. Okay, so I'm removing the screw that's holding in the uh, controller board. So it looks like there's four screws. Here, let's remove those. There's one coming out. The battery is disconnected at this time, so the controller is not live. It should not be live, anyways. Another screw in the top left here. Screw number two. Okay, uh, screw number three is in the bottom, bottom left here. capacitors, a thousand microfarads. So be careful about touching any capacitors because they can still have charge and you want to shock yourself. So all this stuff, do so at your own risk, obviously. Just be careful, not touch any of the metal. Okay, so theoretically I should be able to get slip this board out. Okay, look, it slips out. Look, it slides out from the back to the front. Think. So just got to be careful not to break any wires. And that's the uh, speaker wire here. Speaker wire. You can see the speaker there. Okay, so I'm pulling out the controller board, which has an aluminum base and a fan. Okay, so that's coming out. Controller board slips in there nicely. Okay, it's out. So carefully, I put it down. You can see the controller board. Very nice looking, well designed, I think. Like the metal fan. Okay, so I got the battery out. Look, that battery's out. It's removed. So what does the battery have on it? The battery has, okay, so the USB port and this charge port. Oh, okay, maybe not, maybe, maybe it's just the, what are these? Okay, it's the charge port. So th this connector here is for the, this connector, two pin connector that I removed is for the charge port. So if I'm using external batteries, I'm not going to be using the charge port, so I don't really care about that. So this whole thing, this whole assembly is the 512 watt hour 84 volt battery, I believe. And I don't think I really needed to open it up. Let's just open it up and look. Uh, maybe not. It's all sealed. I'm not going to open it. I can kind of see inside, so that's the pack. I don't need to open it. So those screws on the battery, I did not need to to uh, remove. Um, and there's actually some on the back. There's two more on the back. Uh, the battery's completely sealed. Uh, well, except for this top. So water could get in the top if water came all the way up. It's not getting in from the bottom. It's silicone sealed. So this is the battery pack. So I remove this, my N10 3 well, but the controller board has to sit on something, though, so that's going to be the issue. Is where can the controller sit without the battery? So maybe I do open this up and take the pack out and keep this pla pla plastic box for the controller. 
Let's think about that a little bit. There's the controller. So the controller needs to sit on something. There's, it's not secure. Unless I rigged something else up to secure it, uh, it's got to sit on that plastic box. So I am going to open up the battery and see if the cells are easily removed. So there's two more screws on the back here, uh, the back right of the uh, battery enclosure. So let's remove those. There's two screws here. Battery screws. That's pretty simple, actually, the Gotway. If you're into electric scooters or electric bikes, you got a controller, a battery, and a wheel. That's pretty well it. And some various connectors and you know, charging ports, lights, that kind of stuff. Okay, so here, here goes the second screw from the back side of the battery enclosure. That's out. Okay, let's see. I'm going to pop the seal on the battery. So. That's going to require breaking the silicone seal, so the waterproofing on this case is going to be gone. So, I would not recommend riding your M103 in, in the wet weather if you do this, or you have to seal this back up. 